Hey folks, it's Monday, July 20th, about 7 o'clock Mountain Time, 2015. Got you over here at the Huff Post science section of their online newspaper. Uh, this article was posted today. Um, looks like it was edited about 13 minutes ago. Um, titled, Dramatic Photo of Earth is Probes First to Show Entire Sunlit Side of Planet. Well, I've been looking at images of Earth for quite a while through the GOES project, which is right here. Um, so, I don't know, it's not really necessarily new to me. Um, but they keep talking about, you're never going to see another image like this of Earth, and, and this is epic, eye-popping. Um, I'll post the link if you haven't already seen the article. It's kind of brief. There's not too much that they say other than September keeps coming up everywhere you turn around. NASA plans to begin publishing a daily series, a chronological log of photos of Earth. Uh, taken by EPIC, that's uh, an abbreviation for Earth Polychromatic Imaging Camera, um, in September. But if you look at this image, North America just looks kind of kind of a wreck. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Something doesn't look right. Because like I say, here's the GOES, which I know it's a different instrument. Maybe it's a different technique. Um, but nevertheless, it doesn't look right. And they are proud as a peacock of this uh, image here. Right there it is. This is an image. And all I've done here with this image here is I've kind of adjusted the sharpness a little bit because I wanted to get a better look of, of the Canada, the northern part of North America, um, northeast. It just doesn't look, doesn't look right. Have you guys seen this? I'm, I'm just saying something doesn't look right with that. I'm not saying that that has happened. I'm just saying, why are they so proud of this image? And to me, something doesn't look right with that image at all. Are they trying to tell us something? That's the way I take it, because that does not look right. <laughs> Unless that's the way it always looks. Um, I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys in case you haven't seen it. I'll post a link in the description box. Um, but I don't know if NASA is trying to tell us something or if this is actually what the Earth really looks like. I don't know, but that does not look like anything I've ever seen in the past. And on a different note, um, earthquakes, this is an app I use on my phone. And I don't normally pay attention to the quakes themselves. I do, but I don't. I'm going to show you something. See this number right up here where it says 196? That's a total um, of the earthquakes in a week span, seven day period, of 2.5 or greater. That's a number I've been monitoring for months, probably into years. Um, if you'll notice, it's under 200. It tells me the Earth's vibration, overall vibration, um, is kind of low. Well, look what it did uh, July 19th, almost doubled, went up to 355. So that tells you Earth's vibration is more active and um, prepare for more action. Sometimes that's how I base my earthquake forecasts off of this right here, just that number right there. Not these numbers here or where they're located at, simply that number. Everything in your life is numbers. So those are things that I pay attention to. So earthquakes um, could be um, in the offing um, in the near future. So just a heads up, Earth Vibe is on the rise. But anyway, guys, sharing this odd photo, I don't know what to make of it, but NASA is very proud of it. During these uncertain times, I encourage you to be brave, be strong, and be wise. Thanks for watching. Later.